Please activate the subtitles. My name is Roger Color, and this video is going to be very different because I'll actually play a game here for you guys. I know I've already played all the games here before, but I've never really played a game talking to you about the game while I'm playing it. And for the first time, I'll do it. I've asked my girlfriend to send me a game that, in her opinion, I would never ever play in my life, you know. And she sent me this one, Planet Coaster. And I have to say that she's right. I prefer adventure. I'd rather play an adventure or an action game because I like adventure, action and violence. Mm-hmm. I love violence and gore. This game is nothing like that. I've got to confess that I'm not sure what this game is really about, but apparently I'm supposed to build an amusement park and manage it the best way possible in order to have profit. So this is what I'm going to do right now. I've got this land and I'm building my amusement park. This is similar to The Sims in a way, you know, up to a certain extent. Well, not really, and if it, even if it were, I've never been a good Sims player. I... I'll tell you why. Have you ever played The Sims? You've got to build a house and control a person or a family, and if you don't take good care of them, they die. And, but I've never been patient enough playing it, and I used to just try to find creative ways to kill everybody. But perhaps I'll play The Sims here in the future and I'll show you how I used to do it. But please remember, remember that violence is never good. <laughs> only when it's funny, <laughs> of course. Not only do I need to build the whole park, but I also have to think as a businessman and organize things in a way that would attract more people and have to place things in a way that people will feel okay about spending their money here. Like, I need to have places for them to eat, like hot dog shop. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I believe that Hot Dog Squad is a good name for my shop. I need to make it more attractive for people though. I will add this to my shop. It will definitely make people hungry just by the look of it. But it looks like something else. <laughs> it looks like some... It looks like something that I see every day when I take a shower. Just kidding, I don't take a shower every day. And this is a family friendly channel, so please don't think of me naked. I know you're thinking of me naked right now. You're thinking of my naked body. Stop it, please. I'm shy. It really looks weird though. But delicious. <laughs> That's what they say. I'll call it the Big Johnson. That's how my girlfriend calls it. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Look, I just have $333 and I need a lot more in order to build more things here and make this business more profitable. Otherwise, I go bankrupt. I'm not sure how to lose at this game, but maybe I'll go bankrupt if I don't make enough money to keep it running. My park is so empty. Look at this. But this is what I've got so far. Things will definitely be better soon when people start spending their precious money here. Look at this family, so innocent. Little do they know that when they leave this park, all their money will be mine. Yes, it's a big family with kids. They'll probably walk here and come to this part. Oh my god, they'll see my big Johnson. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I need to cover my Johnson. <laughs> oh, it's so big, they're gonna see it. Now, I need to determine the prices for everything. Everything needs to be expensive because I want to be extremely rich. So this is what I'm supposed to do here. Determine prices, place things at the best spots and wait for people to come in and spend their salaries on the rice and on food. It reminds me of the last time I went to a big park like this one. Well, it's not big yet, but you'll see. It'll be a huge park soon. But yeah, it reminds me of the last time I went to a park. I went to Disney with my girlfriend. One week before we went to Disney, I asked her to be my girlfriend and she said yes. So we were boyfriend and girlfriend, but we were still getting to know each other. And there was one thing that I didn't know about her. She was afraid of heights. She still is. She has vertigo and that sort of stuff. And I am the exact opposite. I love heights to the extreme. I really want to go skydiving someday. And of course, at Disney, I wanted to go to the highest places and to the most dangerous rides. I really wanted to go to the highest roller coaster. So I grabbed her hand and I said, let's start our day here going to the highest roller coaster. 
She said yes, but I could see that she was afraid. So I said, no, 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 we can actually do other stuff. You know, we don't need to go to a roller coaster. <laughs> of course not. And she said, no, 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 come on, I want to do it. And that's what we did. And then we were on the roller coaster. And I looked at her and her eyes were closed all the way. You know, I had fun. I asked her whether she was okay and she said that she was. Only after months she told me that she was afraid all the time at Disney. But she was facing her fear because she wanted to see me happy. I felt bad because I didn't want her to go through all that. But I felt happy at the same time because she did that for me. I thought, she must really love my big Jensen. <laughs> Just kidding. I thought, wow, this girl is just amazing. I really look up to her. I love her and she's my inspiration. She has taught me that when we want something, we've got to face our fears and go for it. You know, just do it. Make our dreams come true. There isn't time to put it off. The time is now. Well, I'll keep trying to improve my park here. Please leave a comment saying whether you want me to keep bringing videos like this one and if you want me to continue playing this game here. Perhaps I'll make a video showing you the final result of my park. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Please join our group on Telegram and practice your English through voice messages and text messages. I need to make a video about how you can use the group on Telegram more efficiently and yeah, I'll definitely do that. But in a nutshell, you can get into the group and you need to force yourself into using it every day. You must come up with a routine in the group like at least send one voice message and one text message a day, you know, every day, and ask someone one question. But this is just one thing, there are so many ways that you can use the group in order to have daily contact with English. Yeah, I'll make a video about how you can do that. If you use the group on Telegram efficiently, it'd be like an exchange program, but free of charge. If you sympathize with my channel, please become a patron. I'm thinking of starting to post podcasts from Monday to Friday, but only for the patrons. And that would be another way to have even more contact with English every day. What do you think of this idea? Please leave a comment saying what you think of it. Thank you very much for everything and I'll see you next class.